Today, we're gonna put our waterless wash plus wax to the test against the elements. Let's go! If you live in an apartment that doesn't allow car washing, if you're just trying to get your car clean in a pinch, or maybe you're just trying to get it clean while you're supercharging, if that's the case, waterless may be for you. Our waterless includes water, water, water? Carnauba wax, so you can protect your car after you wash it. Polydimethylsiloxin. Alcohol ethoxylates, white mineral oil. Don't worry, it's biodegradable and safe for your kids and your pets. In a nutshell, the combination of the cleaning agents traps the dirt, so when you wipe it with a microfiber, it doesn't scratch the surface of the car. When doing this, it's really important to have two microfibers. One is gonna be for wiping the dirt away, and then the other is gonna be for buffing it after that. So the way you do that so you don't end up with so many microfibers is you wanna fold it in fourth like this, and you wanna use this to glide across it and then after that kind of roll so that you don't use this part again and then you could use another part of the, this side. And then when this gets dirty, you wanna flip it. That way, you don't end up with microfibers like this. Now that we know how this works, let's put this puppy to the test. The first thing is you want to spray it pretty nice. And what you want to do is just leave it here and you can see it starts to grab the dirt and you want this to rest a little bit. When you're doing this outside, you really definitely don't want to just leave it outside on the sun and let it dry. I have two of the microfibers I told you about. This is yellow so you guys can see the dirt really well. This is my buff. These are exactly the same towels actually. It's just uh, different colors. I'm going to grab one part of the fourth and you're just going to kind of Grab this just like that. And you can see how much dirt came out of that. And again, I'm not left-handed, so this is really hard. So I'm gonna try to do it right-handed. I'm gonna grab the middle part this time and do it that way. And I got that. And then kind of reposition your hand again and go over and you can see the dirt. And then you're gonna go over like that. And you can see how much dirt came out. You're gonna grab the buffing. You're gonna grab it just like that. and. I think it's safe to say that Waterless won. We're gonna start the PPF. We're gonna just do this front part and we're gonna just saturate that. And this is the last part I did with the, the Black Model S. I'm gonna just use the other side now. So I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna use this side as well. So again, let it saturate just a little bit. Uh, while we're at it, I'm also gonna just do the top part for the vinyl so I can show you guys. Uh, these are safe for PPF, color vinyl, and ceramic coated cars. So once it's saturated, I'm going to again use the front part first. I'm going to try to wipe it down. Ouch, that is a lot of dirt. You can see that the microfiber really grabs that dirt. This is where you don't want to go over, obviously, the same area. So I'm going to kind of roll that as well and kind of go around. And that is a lot of dirt. These are the areas that you definitely want to go over again, but you can see that it did a pretty good job. I mean, if you need to do it again, what you wanna do is fold it over. I'm gonna try to use a little bit more of that. Spray again, and wherever you couldn't get, you're gonna go over. And after that, you go around it and buff it. So that's pretty much in a nutshell. Uh, it works really well. So I think that's a win for PPF. And then for vinyl, again, it's, this is a really dirty car. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first. Ouch, that's uh, kind of embarrassing to be honest. And you can see the difference right here where I stop and obviously I should have gone all the way. It works really, really well for colored vinyl and PPF areas. So my favorite part to use the waterless is actually in the door seal area or even the trunk area. So we're gonna do that next and see if it does really well. So again, spray the area. These are hard places to get because it's not exterior. It's not like you can hose it down. And if you do, you know, you can get interior wet. So the waterless honestly is a great way. You could see, check this out. As I spray this, you can see the dust fall down and, let it, and we're just pretty much letting the liquid do its work. 
one swipe and look how much dirt. Oh my God. It's there. So I'm gonna use this part now. Awesome. So that was just one. Um, if you have a lot of dirt like this, you definitely wanna go another pass. So this is all you have to do is just simply spray again. You use a clean part of the microfiber. So you could see, I just did like three areas and that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna fold it the other way now and use a clean spot. Still dirty. There you go. So you can see the difference already. Uh, it cleans it really fast and quick way. And then after that, you could buff the areas to fully dry what needs to be dry. Awesome. So the Model Y and actually the newer Model 3, they come with black trims already, but one of the issues that happens sometimes is it leaves this water spot. So we're gonna test it against that. So we're gonna do half of it. We're gonna leave half the normal. So we're just gonna use, oh, not stream. Definitely wanna use a spray for this part. And you're just gonna saturate it just a little bit. Gonna use a clean part of the microfiber again. I'm going to just do one stroke and see if that fixes it and then use look at that so you can see the right one we're able to get rid of the water spots essentially all of that and then on the left side or if you can see right here you still have all those water spots still so for this one it is a clear winner the reason why water spots happen is because your water uh, has mineral deposits and when that just sits for a long time it's gonna also etch so that's another thing that you need to uh, get rid of so it's really important to dry your car and if you don't dry your car and you have very um, I guess high mineral content water uh, it'll leave those spots this looks awful we just got back from a road trip and this hasn't been washed for over a week just so you guys know Bug guts are acidic, meaning that when you do have it, the best way to get rid of it is honestly get rid of it as soon as possible. So I'm gonna kind of do the half of this and then keep that kind of just not clean. So I'm gonna just saturate it as much as possible. One other thing is when you do bird poops or even like bug guts, what you wanna do is I like using a stream and some, like maybe you have like a fly, like a whole fly right there. You could use a stream and you could see I got rid of some of these bugs like i can literally see the bug guts like that's that's a fly right there again you are going to be using a lot of chemical for this let's see how this goes oh you can see that it did really well actually cons considerably um, it got rid of a lot of stuff and you would have to do another pass i'm going to be putting it back on spray really try to lubricate that if anything we have a lot of types of bugs here all right i'm going to change out microfiber all right round two Awesome, so significantly better. You can see a massive difference from here and here. Would I say the waterless is a clear winner? I don't think it's a winner. Uh, the way I would debug us a little bit differently, first of all, I would definitely use a pressure washer to get as much as I can out. Like this looks like a cemetery for bugs right now. So you definitely want to get it a lot earlier so it's not drying out and the acid is not baking into either the vinyl or the surface. So I think this one, unfortunately the bugs won. So we're gonna try to break this down. Again, bird poop is also very acidic. This is something you wanna get rid of right away. So we're gonna try to tackle it. It's been here for a couple days, so that's good. We're gonna use, first of all, a spray and just gonna saturate the area. And you can see it already starts breaking it down. I'm gonna switch it to a stream now. I'm gonna try to hit it like directly like that. And I'm breaking everything down. And you can see that actually with just a spray, it got rid of most of the bird poop. Thank God, I don't have to touch it. Right, and then once it sits a little bit, you just grab a microfiber, same thing we've been doing all along, and wow, look at that. 
Um, I don't want to drag this across either, so I'm going to continue hitting it with that. And I think I, I ha have it now. There we go. I think there's a clear winner here. One thing to note is that even for bug guts and bird poop, if you leave it on paint, what's going to happen is actually it's going to etch into the paint surface if you don't get it early enough. So if you can, if you can, if you can, like get it as early as you can. All right, so now let's get to the heavy stuff. So typically I wouldn't do mud, but you know, we're going to put this to the test and see how this works. So we got a bunch of mud right here. Who says you can't go muddy in a Model Y? It's really saturated, let it do its thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this side because this side's a lot cleaner. We'll go ahead and wipe clean. See if that takes the mud out. Yep, look at that. Awesome, that is dirty. Sweet, it did a pretty good job. You can kind of see a little bit of mud right there still. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can try to get it off with one more pass. I'm gonna use this side. Awesome, that got rid of it. So you can see that you can keep doing this. One thing to keep in mind is don't try to like scrub it. Um, this is definitely a lubrication between the two, but you don't really want to scrub it against each other. You really just want to go one pass. And you also don't want to be like super hard when you do stuff like this. Typically for this, I wouldn't use a wireless. I would definitely use a pressure washer, to try to get as much out and then do a foam cannon on this. So um, I'm not really sure if this is a, like a win. Maybe this is a draw. Um, yeah, I mean, I, again, I wouldn't use this for, for like heavy mud or anything. This was very, very light mud. So I think this is more of a draw. Um, but that being said, we can try the plastic area and just, just see how this does. I would say that is a win. That did very good. So that works really well, even for plastic areas like this. Uh, it got rid of the dirt but I had to do about three passes to be able to get uh, this result. So you're gonna be using a lot of materials or a lot of um, uh, chemicals to get that done. So you may wanna reconsider when you have mud like this. For this one, we're gonna to try to test this super dirty rocker area. And it has definitely a lot of different types of you know, dirt and everything but there's also some tar over here and those can be quite difficult. So we're gonna do the same thing. Just gonna saturate this area. We're just gonna hit that front part and I'm just gonna do that. And I'm gonna try to use my left hand if I can. And see, if I can get rid of that. All right, so you can see that it definitely cleaned it, but there's still a lot of stuff there. So I'm gonna try this again. And as you can see, it definitely got cleaner, but I wouldn't say this would be the best for removing tar or anything oh. super tough like this. Hopefully that was helpful in trying to figure out what waterless is perfect for. I mean, you can see that it was highly effective in a lot of areas, but also it had its limitations. So this is not an end all solution, but as we mentioned earlier, there are great uses for waterless wash. If you like this video, subscribe. We're coming out videos every single week. And until next time, we'll see you later.